<laughs> Guys, make sure you subscribe to my page for more videos. spinnerbait see if we have any luck on this one um, we've also got some jerk baits uh, we've also got some worms we'll try these out and see these are watermelon red we've heard these are really good for the bass up here in Michigan so we'll see if they like them all right, I am going to show you guys how to hook the watermelon red bait. So what we're doing is we're just tying the hook straight to our line. red bait the hook is going to end up sitting in it like this so what we're gonna do is hook it through kind of thread it through a good amount and then we're gonna push the hook just like that so that's how it looks All right, everyone, we caught our first bass today on uh, Lake Mesa Day in Michigan. We're using the watermelon red worms. They work really well out here. It's a nice little bass. Very cute. Let me release him and we'll catch some more. Smallmouth bass, super cute. And um, so what we did was we caught him on the watermelon red worms that I just tied. I just showed you how to tie. And here's the proof. It works. They love them here in Michigan in the lakes. I'm going to release this guy, let him grow up a little more, and then we'll be back next year to catch him again. Ooh, 
biting me. All right, Kiki's gonna take off. Woo! Right away, nice. Some of these kids are just gonna whip around. Another one on the watermelon red bait. Very cool. I'm so excited. Let me get this guy off the hook and release him, and then we'll catch some more. Here we go. All right, let me release this little guy. We'll keep on catching. Alright, we are flipping the watermelon red worm bait out to the bass. The bass are sitting just off of this grass right here. We're catching a lot right here, right out in the water. Uh, it's probably five foot, five, six foot deep. Uh, so we're gonna cast out to them and keep catching more bass. Alright, so we just flipped the bait out. We are gonna do a slow reel. Uh, the bass seem to like that. Nothing too fast, not too slow, just a nice, nice steady, even pace. And they're just attacking them. All right, I am casting with the current against the wind, so I'm not gonna be able to get my bait out as far as I normally can, but the bass like to swim with the current, so that's why we're, we're uh, flipping the bait out against the wind. Again, nice slow cranks. That's what the bass are liking right now. Fast crank, slow crank. You know, you just kind of have to feel it out maybe the first 20, 30 minutes and see what the bass are, are going after. So today, they're going after the slow crank. Get him right here. Got him? Woo! He ain't that small. He ain't that small. That's a good one. Looks like these watermelon red baits are just producing for us today. We got another one. They're getting bigger and bigger. How cute is this little guy? How cute. Love them. I love catching bass. We're here on a lake in Michigan. It's gorgeous out. Summertime. Summertime bass fishing. Doesn't get any better than this, guys. So excited. Let me get him off the hook and we'll release him. All right, watermelon red, getting the job done. Love it. Here we go, let's release this guy. Got our little bass unhooked, super cute. Love catching these, so much fun, such a good fight. They jump out of the water. I love everything about bass fishing, guys, so much fun. Let's release this little guy. And he's done. He dives down. Usually they dive straight down into the weeds and hide for a little bit. So we'll see if he can come up later and we'll catch him again. <sighs> Alright guys, we had we had a great day here on Lake Mesa Day in Michigan. Caught a lot of bass. Uh, some bluegill, uh, and now it's time to go swimming. Billy! Feels good though.
guys, make sure you subscribe to my page for more videos.